Well, I went and did a thing. Let's see what we have got right here. So what do we have? This is an electronic drum set, as you may see, but you're probably not familiar with Tama's version of the electronic drum set. Of course, Roland is the undisputed king, and Alesis and some other companies have really been making some fine products, Yamaha, of course, and I believe DW has their own electronic drum set now. So it's, it's not out of the realm of reality to have an electronic drum set in the range. But what is this? This is a 1985 Tama Techstar. This is the Techstar TS, which stands for Techstar, I assume, 305. And you can see that we do have an electronic voice module. We have a kick drum, which is upside down. We have three flat things, one of which is a snare to our toms. And then we have some stands over here, which I don't know if those came with the drums or if they were acquired afterwards. But this is what we got here. I've never owned this set, let alone any electronic drum set. So we're gonna mess around with this. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to put it together, but hopefully I can get behind it and we can hear what it sounds like. Before we get these all mounted up though, let's take a look at the back of the TOMS or the TS-100 modules. That's what every one of these are. They're all TS-100, no variants, although one of them does have the TOMA logo on the head, and which is this one. Um, otherwise, the hardware is pretty slick. Exactly what you would expect from TOMA of this era, 1985, mid-80s. They have rock solid hardware and you know, that's what's on the back of these drums. All right, I got this thing together and I cannot say enough good things about it. It's such a fun set. I've been having a blast playing it. The controller is set up right behind me. The voice module, I have a hi-hat here. The one thing that this, this kit does not have are cymbals and there are no spots for plug-in cymbals on this. So you have to BYOC, bring your own cymbals. Um, that's just, the early technology of these electronic drums. I don't know if they had figured out the triggers for cymbals or what, or the material, but it took a little while for Roland to get the, the really good formula that we're familiar with today uh, for that electronic cymbal sound and feel. So these feel, speaking of feel, they feel great. They feel awesome. These are actual drum heads and you can see, we'll get a little close up here, but you can see there's a drum key option to take the top of these off and change those out. So I'm gonna do that eventually. They're pretty beat up, but they still work fine. I don't think the beat upness of these heads contribute to the sound in any way. They're just there as a trigger. So we have a, a snare, two toms, a kick, and the voice module behind me. And it sounds like this. These are not very well dialed in sounds. I've just been kind of messing around with them and I just found four sounds that are basically different from one another. And the kick obviously is the lowest. And the snare has a little bit of snare qualities and their toms have a bit more, you know, tone to them. And I tune them in a tritone. So the kit plays just like a regular drum kit. So there you go. That's how it works. We have this guy controlling all of the sounds individually per channel. And there's just a single quarter inch cable that connects each drum to each channel on the board. It's simple, it's foolproof, and it still works after all these years. This is a 1985 instrument. makes you want to play fast.
There is an additional input for a rim shot on the snare. I don't see how that would work. So you might need an actual snare pad in order to get that rim shot functionality, but there's a whole channel de dedicated to that rim shot, which uh, here you can't tell there's, a, there's any difference. Okay, so our first channel is the snare. Right at the top, we do have a manual versus memory. I'm not exactly sure how you initiate that memory. Maybe this is a button as well, but no, it doesn't feel like it. But either way, you can assign a memory sound that can be basically your all over sound. And th the one that's assigned now sounds like this. Pretty nice snare sound for a digital snare, but if you just initiate the manual toggle, then you get all of these dials. So the volume, the level is the first one. Emphasis. It's just kind of added oomph. That right in the middle. And now the next one, tone versus noise. Put it all the way to noise then it's truly just noise. But if we add it a little tone into the sound, you can wind it all the way over until it's just a tone. That's our attack and delay. Uh, when you have noise wound all the way out, the noise dial doesn't do anything but you can hear what that does to the sound. Okay, and then the sensitivity at the top. This is something that I found needs to be wound pretty high. If you have it pretty low, there's nothing that happens. But right around 50% is a pretty, pretty nominal, normal sound, but I like it kind of closer to 75% on all of these. And that sensitivity I found makes the drum more or less sensitive as you hit it. It's pretty vague, but it, it definitely affects the sound. So we don't have anything plugged into the rim shot channel. As you can see, I don't have a snare that accommodates a rim shot. So we won't get to see that, but it's the same exact controls. Next we have toms one, two, and three. I have a set with only two toms. I might try to find a third one here just to see if I can add a third sound. The other option would be to take the snare and put it into channel three of the third tom, and then you have three toms. So I'm not gonna do that. I like having the snare there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the top channel there. And I like that snare sound. Maybe tune it down just a hair. And that's how I got the toms to tune it into a tritone. There you go, a uh, major sixth. Lost it there. Uh, for the kick pedal, I just hooked up my regular old single Dixon kick pedal here. 
I had to adjust the batter to lower it just a hair, but that's no problem. It works just fine. I've got this thing hooked up. I've got my keyboard right here. Why don't we throw a loop on and play along to it? is just too fun it takes a little bit of while to get used to the kick it doesn't react quite as much as an actual especially a 24 inch actual uh, kick drum it's pretty responsive and it sounds pretty cool I think so there you go this is a really cool find. I found this locally, surprisingly. I've been looking for one of these for a little bit, not too hot and heavy, but this one just came around and had everything that you see here, except for the hi-hat, of course, and it just sounds freaking cool all these years later. So I love this thing. I'm gonna try to work it into my music making. We'll see how that goes, but right now it's more of a novelty and I don't have a plan for it. So if you really want this kit, and you want to make an offer on it, then I'll entertain offers. I'm not looking to sell it because I love it <laughs> so much, but if someone really, really, really wants this thing and loves it more than I could ever hope to, then I will let it go at the right price. So there you go. This is the Tama Techstar TS305 from 1985, an electronic drum set that is still cool all these years later. Let me know if you have any experience with this drum set, a Simmons, a Roland, an Alesis, whatever you have and you think that it sounds really good. I'd like to know because, you know, I'm not in the market for an electronic drum set, obviously, but I like checking this stuff out. 
And if I have enough people tell me one thing, maybe I'll take a look. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And if you do like this content, feel free to like and subscribe. That always helps. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one.